you may have seen the humanoid robot from Russia that fell over during its demo. Essentially, it crashed, literally. I'm Stephen King, and I'm a professor of emerging technologies and the CEO of Blue Sky Robotics. We talk about how we can get value out of robotics and AI and how you can use them in your business. We've all been there where we've seen a live demo not go so well. I've been on stage and had software crash, and you just have to deal with it. But the difference here is we're looking at a very heavy, more than 100 pound metal robot that falls forward. What do we do in those cases? What if humans were around? But this is something that the robotics industry has been working with and dealing with for years. Boston Dynamics has been working on humanoid robot and this walking concept for 40 years. As they were moving forward, they helped to define what are those safety standards and what does it take to get there. Throughout robotics, we have lots of different use cases. We love the humanoid concept. We love the idea that this can do multitask. It can do anything. Elon Musk is telling us this promise. It's going to be in our homes. The Neo is now on pre-sale. And so there's a lot of promise of it, but are they valuable and helpful in industry right now? Well, for sure, task-oriented robots are. We can have welding robots, pick and play, we have all of these different robotic arms and concepts and combining vision and software together to make really valuable, helpful, task-oriented robots to solve problems for businesses today. But at the moment, I'm not seeing humanoid robots that can provide business value yet. But there's some really interesting experiments. The thing is, we just got to make sure that we do it in a safe way, follow good protocols, good innovation, and then we find a way to create value for the businesses, not just for the novelty.